Ma'am, Sam Elijah G. Panagiton of BS Cream 1 Alpha and today I'm going to discuss the Philippine criminal justice system, its process and its meaning. So first, let's go to the meaning of the Philippine criminal justice system. The Philippine criminal justice system as the machinery of the state government which enforces the rules of conduct necessary to protect life and property and maintain peace and order. It is also defined as a machinery established by the government to deal with problems of crime and criminality. It takes the orderly progression of events from the time a person is arrested or taken into custody, investigated, prosecuted, sentenced, punished, and eventually returned to the community. Now, the components of the Philippine criminal justice system are the five pillars being the police, the first pillar, followed by the prosecution, and the third pillar as the court, and the fourth pillar, the correction, and the fifth and the last court is the community. So, let's go now to the process and how does it work. First, the police or law enforcement as the first pillar, or to be specific, is the PNP or the Philippine National Police. The police is considered the first pillar because it all starts in the apprehension of the criminal and also because police are the most visible representative of the government in the society thus they are the first to interact with the criminal justice system now when they arrest a suspect culprit or criminal there are two ways to do it in the philippine criminal justice system first is the with warrant of arrest and uh, this type of arrest is the most common arrest it is accompanied with a legal document signed by a judge warranting the arrest of a person. And the second way to arrest is without warrant. And this type of arrest can be done in two types of person. It can be done by a police officer called warrantless arrest and without warrant of arrest made by an ordinary person or citizen's arrest. Now after arresting the suspect, we now move to the second pillar of the criminal justice system, the prosecution. Presence of probable cause to warrant prosecution as known as the preliminary investigation will be determined or conduct an inquest proceeding depending on how the suspect is apprehended. If the person is apprehended by the police with warrant of arrest, then in the prosecution it will proceed into a preliminary investigation and determine whether there is a probable cause or not. If the preliminary investigation yields a probable cause, the prosecutor will now file an information to the third pillar or the court. But if there is no probable cause to pursue the case, it will be dismissed. But if the person is caught without warrant of arrest, we will go into inquest proceeding where the prosecution will determine whether the said person should remain under custody and correspondingly be charged in court. After that, the person has two choices whether to request a preliminary investigation with of Article 125 of the Revised Penal Code or not to request a preliminary investigation, therefore no waiver will be provided and the inquest prosecutor will find information to the court. Now after the second pillar, or prosecution does their duty, we will now proceed to the third pillar known as the court. The court is a governmental body officially assembled under the authority of the law at the appropriate time and place for the administration of justice through which the state enforces its sovereign rights and power. In, in the court, at any time before entering the, his plea, the accused may move to quash the complaint or information under these specific grounds. First is based on an alleged defect in the complaint of information which can be cured by amendment and the court order, order that an amendment be made. Second is based on the ground that the facts charged do not constitute an offense, the prosecution shall be given by the court an opportunity to correct the defect by amendment. The motion to quash can either be denied or granted. If granted, the court will order that another complaint or information be filed against the accused for the same offense. But if the preliminary investigation results in the finding that a crime has been committed and the suspect is probably guilty thereof, 
the public prosecutor will find a corresponding information in the proper court, thus activating the judicial process. The case shall be then set for arraignment, which is the first stage of the criminal action. It consists of reading the information of a criminal complaint in court to the accused in an open court. The accused is then asked how he pleads. Then the accused may plead guilty or not guilty to the offense charge. If he refuses to plead, a plea of not guilty is entered for him. If the accused pleads guilty, the court shall sentence him to the corresponding penalty if it is satisfied of the voluntariness of the plea, and otherwise of the guilt of the accused if the accused pleads not guilty, the case is set for pre-trial or trial. The pre-trial shall consider the following matters. First is plea bargaining, second is stipulation of facts, the third is marking of identification of evidence of the parties, and the fourth is the waiver of objections to admissibility of evidence, and the fifth is such other matters will promote a fair expeditious trial, no agreement or admissions during the pre-trial shall be used in evidence against the accused unless reduced in writing and signed by him and his counsel. After the pre-trial stage, trial follows. The prosecution commences the presentation of evidence followed by the accused. The prosecution may present rebuttal evidence. The parties may also present with written arguments or memoranda after which the case is deemed submitted for decision. In the trial, the case on the accused will be decided whether the accused is guilty or not guilty of his or her crime. If the accused is not guilty, then he, she will be reintegrated back to the fifth pillar of the justice system, the community. But if the accused is guilty, he, she may or may not file an appeal to the next higher court. Thus being guilty of the crime, the criminal will now reprimanded in the fourth pillar of the justice system, the correction, where the convict will serve their sentence in an institutional correction or non-institutional correction. In the institutional correction, prison are the more likely accommodation of the sentence and if the sentence is more than three years, he or she will be held in a bureau of correction like the New Believe Prison in Mountain Lupa City and 20 more prisons under the Bureau of Corrections. And after serving their sentence, they will be returned to the community as a law-abiding citizen. But if the sentence is not more than three years, he, she will be held in the Bureau of Jail Management and Technology. Like the BJMP in Manila, in Caloacan City, and also, after serving their sentence, they will return in the community as a law-abiding citizen. In the non-institutional correction, the guilty offender can choose between a role, pardon, or probation or which he is qualified. In the non-institutional correction, the guilty offender can choose between parole, pardon, and probation which he or she could be qualified. Parole is the early release of prisoner who agrees to abide by a certain conditions and he still needs to serve at least minimum of his indeterminate sentence before he is qualified for this program. Pardon is a government decision to allow a person to be relieved of some or all of the legal consequences resulting from a criminal conviction. A pardon may be granted before or after conviction for a crime depending on the laws of the jurisdiction and it is granted by the president and could be conditional or absolute. Probation in criminal law is a period of supervision over an offender ordered by the court instead of serving his time in prison. In some jurisdictions, the term probation applies only to community sentences such as suspended sentences. And if the sentence is not more than six years of imprisonment, after serving parole, pardon, or probation, they will be returned back to the community and become a law-abiding citizen. That's all. Thank you.